Hey everybody, I'm the Giant. Thanks for stopping in and checking out our video. My husband and I purchased seven acres at the beginning of this year, what we call the junkyard, and are in the process of cleaning it up to build our dream home. We've also been renovating our fifth wheel that we live in with our two boys. And today, we're gonna tackle wallpaper. Welcome to Ginger and the Giant. As much as I love clean and crisp colors and design, I wanted to break up the same colored walls by adding some wallpaper. We used peel and stick tile for our RV kitchen backsplash, as well as peel and stick vinyl for our kitchen countertops this last summer. And even though we didn't do a perfect job, we think it looks a whole lot better than it did before. So I decided to try another peel and stick product for the bump out walls. When we painted our RV eight months ago, we were very short on time, so we rushed and didn't remove the strip of wallpaper in the middle of the wall. It was time to get that off. Then I cleaned all the walls before adhering the wallpaper. After the surface was ready, all that was left to do was cutting, peeling, and lining up the wallpaper on the wall. I did all of this with a pair of scissors, a utility knife, and my hands. The utility knife was for scoring around the edges and windows. This was a tedious process, which I don't usually mind, but the tight corners, my limited knowledge with this material, and my desire for perfection were taunting me. And as the day was slipping away, all that was keeping me motivated was the end goal of beautifying these walls. Ginger removed the slight fixture I had him install a while ago since it didn't fit in the space as I had hoped. It was too low on the wall for the other decor choices I had made, plus it didn't work. But after he took it off the wall, I had another problem, a hole that needed to be patched. We contemplated how to fix it, and then it dawned on me. The old middle strip of wallpaper we painted over was pretty hefty and quite sticky. I decided I would cut a piece of it to lay over the light fixture hole. And voila, no more hole. I know this may not have been the right way to do this, but it works for us. Plus, the wallpaper I put on the wall kind of helped reinforce it. And I figured curtains would help cover up any visible seams. And just when I was getting the hang of it, I ran out of wallpaper. I made many attempts to line up the scraps I had left, but ultimately decided to make another order of wallpaper and finish the project another day. Because of all the things we've been trying to get done at our property, my wallpaper project got pushed back a couple of months. But here is proof I did get back to it and completed it. I love the way that it turned out. I think it adds so much more to the space. But sadly, I do not have final reveal shots for you in this video. If you want to see it all together, you'll just have to come back and see them in next week's video where we put up curtains. Thanks for joining us! If you want to keep up to date with us on everything that's happening here at the junkyard in our RV renovation, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Also, share your thoughts with us by leaving a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Lastly, we included links to all of the products we used in the video description. Check them out. We do earn from qualifying purchases. And as always, thank you for your support.